Bright to Dream is known by many as a football academy. But today, preparations for a very different competition are underway. Pa Jo, the head of ICT, is in charge and is about to embark on two full days with the students in the run-up to Saturday's Southern Ghana Robotics Championships. The 11 students who make up the robotics club have been working since dawn. And with only 48 hours to go, the concentration is building. Split into four teams, there is a healthy rivalry among the students. So we are the senior team for the right to team robotics club. The bosses, the senior team, the bosses. So my name is Isaac Marco. Uh, I'm Kosa. Okay, Kosi. Abdul Shaku Busquets. Yeah. You want to be the other RTD teams? Oh. oh. Perfect. Yes, of course. <laughs> if they beat us, it will be like a shame to us. Their yeah, first time, then they beat us. Of course, we want to support them at the competition, but it's better when you have a gold and they have a silver. That's what I'm looking for. What if we lose? Lose? Woo! Lose? Losing? No, we are never going to lose. Of course. To do, they don't teach us about losing. And losing too is not part of our character trait, yeah, so we, we are, are never going to lose. Going to lose. Ah! Losing. Look yeah. at the word. Lose. Lose? I don't want to even hear that again. Hi, I'm Fatih. No Together, we are the junior team. And we really want, want to win. win. <laughs> Each team is divided into builders and programmers, and surprisingly, the practical building of the robot for the junior team falls to Fatty, a 14-year-old girl. It's so, so, so hard trying to build robots, but because I like building, it, it's not really a big problem for me. And right now, what I'm trying to build is um, getting something in front of the robot that is going to push obstacles away whenever it meets it. The whole day we weren't at school and we've been putting in much effort on this robot to do whatever we want it to be. So by the end, I think with all the effort we kept in building this robot, we will start clapping for it because the effort, sometimes effort pays, so. Fatty isn't the only girl. The youngest team is made up of four girls, some of whom are the newest members of the academy. Hi, I'm Mara. Hi, I'm Diana. Hi, I'm Abigail. Hi, I'm Krista. We are the primary team. As the day progresses, Pa Joe advises the team so they stay on course. So, right now, like I've said, what you need to do is, first of all, but don't touch the, the last uh, power steering. You know the first one, the high one. Don't touch that one. Let that one remain. After a few minutes, they seem to have solved their problem. And Fatty is also there to provide some sisterly support. I'm, I'm trying to teach her how to build. She's asking me to show her how I build my team. So as you can see, we are not in the same team, but as far as we are girls, we stick together. And Fatty is also helping the boys. While she helps Kingsford, her teammate Nuhu is busy programming their robot. So I'm just trying to make some tiny changes to my program because it does not really do the thing that I want it to do. And then, and then doing this is, is really frustrating too because sometimes it's, you know, it's something like you need lots of patience in doing this. And then it, it, uh, if you're not patient enough, then you can't really, really, really do this. And then that's really tough. But even Fatty can't solve Isaac's problems. So tomorrow, we have to, like, 22 blocks, we have to make changes to all. So the whole entire thing is making changes to 22 blocks to see if it will work. And it's not easy. I'm feeling like I want to die. Like the girl should swallow me. The boys are left with no choice but to carry on working into the night. The next morning, things are looking up for the students. Yesterday was really horrible. We had a bad day, I can say, because we had loads of mistakes in the program. But today, it's different. Shut up, we're doing a good job. With things back on track, the students allow themselves a chance to relax. 
do an impression of a robot sound. Give you the So I want to congratulate all of you for the work that you've done so far. We spent a lot of time trying to get your robot to work. Uh, we have, as it is right now, we have less than 24 hours to make an appearance at the competition. Uh, and I believe with the time that we have from now till when we stop working finally, you're able to tie all the knots, make sure everything is working, you've checked your speed, your calibration, all of that. Make sure everything works for tomorrow. And I believe in you guys, so let's go win. And Fatty takes some time to consider what this really means to her. So I grew up liking to build because my uncle bought some bricks for me. So I, I, I sort of build it and my hands got used to it and that's why I just like building. In my community, I was the only girl who had these blocks to build and other girls could have been so much better than I am. But because they don't get opportunity to get those sort of stuff to build, they just waste that talent. I'm going to talk about the girls because I came before some of the little girls who were in the robotics club and seeing them for the first time and asking some of them what their name was and they couldn't even speak English and now they've been able to speak English and knowing what a robot is and taking calibrations it's so good it's so good seeing them from the scratch to where they are now on Saturday we are going to compete with I mean top schools in Ghana and I don't know but we are, we are not going to be meant to win, but imagine if we win. I believe that we build dreams one step at a time, just like building the robots, fixing parts together. If we win this National Robotics Championship, it's going to really send a powerful message to girls in Ghana. This means that I'm one step closer to fulfilling my dreams. Only tomorrow will tell if these students, seen by many just as footballers, can live up to their own high expectations. <laughs>